Bevel modifier in Blender has a hidden feature and not many people know about it and not many people are using it. And it's bevel profile. So if I'm going to add a bevel here with hard ops, and you can do it with vanilla blender, it doesn't really matter. Let's make it a bit larger and add maybe you know a few more segments. And we're gonna go to bevel and profile. You will see that if we switch from this super eclipse to custom we can change the bevel profile. At the moment it's flat, but you can adjust it by moving these points. And you can also change the shape of these points. For instance, I can make them sharp, right? Or change them into curves and, you know, kind of play with them a little bit, right? And obviously you can make it more uh, smooth by adding more segments, add some subdivision to the cylinder, remove smooth by angle, and you're going to get some interesting shape. So that's the very basic, right? Now, the issue here is that you can create them, but there's no way to save them. And that's where hard ups and box color come in. But there's a few more things that hard ups is introducing to these uh, profiles for bevels. So let me drop a plane here. I'll show you, right? So let's bevel one point on this plane. So I'm going to go to Q and control click on mark. You can bevel one vert here. You can do the same thing with vanilla blender, by the way, to you have to set the bevel to to vert. And we are going to play with this profile, right? So we're going to go here, custom, right? And we can just change the profile to something more interesting, right? So something, for example, like this, right? Something very simple. Okay, cool. So now what you can do is you can go to control tilde menu, right? And go to modifiers and here under bevel profile, you can actually save it. So hard ops gives you the opportunity to save bevel profiles and you can recall them later on. You can also change the path. So if you go to Q and settings, and you go to Kima prefs and you go to properties and you scroll down, you can change the path for your bevel profiles for hard ops. You can set it anywhere you want. Okay, cool. So now what you can do is you can go to Q and bevel. And if you unroll this H menu, you can press shift P, which is a bit difficult to, you know, to reach and scroll through different preset profiles in hard ops, which is pretty cool. Okay. So let me show you in practice what these profiles can do. If I'm going to grab a plane and I'm going to slash it in half, so I'm going to remove this half, right? And I'm going to, you know, bevel this corner one more time. And I'm going to run through some profiles. So let's say set it to something like this. And I'm going to go to Q and modifiers and go to screw and change the orientation of the screw and flip it with F we're going to get something like this, which is pretty cool. And now what you can do, you can scroll through these profiles, you know, live. So once you get to a shape or create a shape that you really want, you can keep working on it. So for instance, you can uh, start cutting it. But you see now the difference between working um, on a shape like this um, through a screw modifier versus working on a cylinder is that when you use a screw modifier, you can change the resolution of it, right? On the fly, which is pretty cool. So let's go to like 80, right? Or even higher, 100. And I'm going to simply cut it. So now what we could do here is we could um, run a cutter with a circle, enable dots here and hold control and create a circular cut and, you know, run it through and then press T for solidification and create something like this and maybe maybe scale it a little bit in and make it a bit smaller there we go right and then we could cut this cutter right let's just make it a bit thicker and smaller there we go and we could cut this this cutter with uh, with a box for example right like this okay and then we could take this box so have a scroll and we could array this around. So let's go to mesh tools and control click on radial array. And there you go.
So you can create some really crazy shapes using uh, this tool, which normally would be very difficult to perform, right? And on top of it, obviously, you can you know drop another bevel like that, and uh, there you go. So bevel profiles are quite interesting, and if you, you know, again, like like I said, if you want to store them, go to Control tilde and just go to your a bevel modifier right and you can save them here as a bevel profile and you can recover them uh, when you in bevel mode by simply pressing shift p and you can scroll through them right so there you go so there you go guys that's it and if you want to learn more about hard ops and box cutter definitely grab our course which is called the ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter which is packed with tips like this and we're going to be going through all the menus all the tools in hard ups and box cutter and also there's going to be a massive modeling section an advanced section which is going to show you all these intricate menus that no one really knows about but are quite useful the link is in the video description and in the comment pinned under the video Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.